All right, guys. So I just figured out how to do uh, the changing for landscape pages. Um, so I'm going to pieces here. I have a number of portrait pages, normal orientation, and I have several tables that I have landscape. Now the issue here is that when printed, the page number is going to show up at the bottom, which when printed is going to be the right hand side of the page. So this orientation will flip. This will become the top left corner. And this will become the bottom right corner. So we just rotate it 90 degrees to the left. <clears throat> what we want to do is move this page number over here. First thing we gotta, gotta do, go to this page, and we gotta unlink all of the headers and footers from the portrait section. So what hopefully we've already done is just have all of your page numbers ordered for the entire document. So it should just be left correct. And you want to do this for the first portrait page as well. You want to unlink the previous. So this number will continue onward from there. But now we have a section that's dedicated specifically so that we can uh, change this orientation. Now, if you're not seeing this link to previous section, basically what you have done is um, so essentially any of these portrait pages that we'll look at. Hit this little paragraph icon here. I have a section break here going to the next page, and you can insert a page break. But a section break is what you want to break up this numbering system. So once you have a section break here, you should be able to flip this without any uh, of the portrait pages being flipped. And that means it's going to be much easier to do this page numbering change. So what we want to do first, go ahead and click on this page, and then go ahead and insert page number, and then go on the page margin, we're going to go large left. So when you do border left, if it inserts one with the underline that you don't want, you're going to do large left and then just manually change these. Same thing here. So what I can just do is highlight these four pages. Let's insert page number. Let's go back and just get this first one. So, page four. Huh. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to do it individually. I had done it to work before. So, let's start from the beginning. So, we're gonna edit those. Page number. Here, go to home, let's go and change the text to right that and match. Okay, I'm going to format shape on the back. So I'm going to size the shape to fit text. I want to remove all of these margins in this row. I'm going to get the text to rotate on the shape 90 degrees. And I want to make sure that this is the right size. Let's just hit wrap text again. And so that's what we'll really do is make it real tight around the actual size. Make sure it's centered, right? And it's one point spacing. And that's it. Now we have it over here. So you can just go ahead and do that for the rest of those pages. And then the other thing you can do is go ahead down here. And move this bottom one. If you did it right, you should be able to go through and delete all of these. So let's just do the last one. And it shouldn't have your next page. Does it affect your next page? Just hit undo. And go back and make sure that you have this, both of these footers unlinked to the previous page. 